What's up guys, Justin Loosh Tag, and today we have another video, and we're doing a little bit more today. So, more of a vlog style thing, kind of what you guys have been asking for, uh, but I'll explain that in one second. I just have to move that, so I can put that over there, so that warms up, and then I can put that back. Woo! So let's get started. Obviously, we're, we're going to start this car first, just to get some time. And then we'll move that one, and then we'll back this one up, and then we'll, and then it'll be warming, you know. Honestly, I think the best part is trying to figure out how to park because I'm retarded. And musical cars is always the best. It's always more fun the more cars there are because there is the TC is gone for now, but that's coming back today. Uh, yeah. All right. So now, basically, if you've been watching or if you've been on my Instagram, you know that. The car is overboosting, and if you watch my last video towards the end, you could hear that it was probably overboost. It just cut the fuel because of it. Today we're gonna go get what Jack needs for the tune, so that he can fix it from like the health tech system. So once we do that, we can send it to Jack, and then he can fix it, and then it will be good. It's just happening on 93. It doesn't happen on 85. I don't know why, but we're gonna fix. We'll get it fixed. At least I think it's only happening on 93. When I switched to 93, it started happening. So, hopefully we'll get it fixed, and yeah, that's what's going on. Also, we are picking up the TC today. So, more news on that. Uh, all that happened was I broke the front mount for the transmission. So, it was just old. So, we got it all replaced, and it's all good now. All the bolts and stuff are retightened, all good, aligned. The car got aligned, so we're all good to go. And yeah, so I didn't even tell you guys that there's coilovers on it. So you'll see it, but the video for the coilovers isn't even out yet. You know, something funny was I was gonna say in this video there is gonna be no rip in it, but technically we have to rip it in order to get the data that he needs. So we're ripping it only today. Putting it back after we're done because I don't want to break it. But we're looking up how to freaking use the ECU because I'm dumb. <laughs> Thought I'd just say. What do we do? I don't know what to do. Wait. What is it? Does it look like that? Helltech engine management. No. I have no idea. It's insane. This says that this application is called ECU manager. Good view from back here. Let's piss off all your neighbors. No, Tim already did that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. I already, I already like dumb shot loud down there. I was loud to try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, apple. Is it the screen supposed to go dark?
electric might cut out. So, you, can, can you turn? Yeah, I can turn, and the car works, but we have no power steering. Right, you're gonna have to pop the hood. 100%. So, well, the to do one... A thing and not break the power steering. Well, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's How not, did the one thing that happened not. is the power steering come up? This stuff is warm, but... I think you can... Adam, you built a great car, but how did the power side, steering come actually. off? You know, if we just take it off... I mean, don't, yeah, realistically, you could just take it off. Just no just... more flapping, and then it's just going to be a very difficult time for the short period of time that I have to <laughs> drive it like this. It's, you really got to put that on there. Yeah, usually they take a screwdriver and they force it over the other side. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, there's... We need like an inch, a whole inch to freaking. It has no play. How I don't even know how it came off. off. Yeah. It has literally no play. Like, I just don't get it. Is the belt upside down? Because I feel like it's upside down. Well, if we flip it around, it is someone's going to burn themselves. It is actually. Oh my god. That's probably why it came off. It was probably upside down to begin with. Really yeah, but cool. if I didn't say it right, this is this is what happened. This is really cool thing right now. And this is really dumb. <laughs> all we were got This is literally yeah. all I was gonna do with the car today. I was it's, gonna it's take it's so hot. Like like it will would not it will not cool down. Uh, yeah, this no. is literally all I was gonna do today with the car. <laughs> oh, we just, uh, oh maybe when it cools down it'll shrink. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's go. <laughs> how that works? Yeah, it's the opposite yeah. of how that works. Oh yeah, wait. You want, the belt, you want the belt to be warmer so it expands. But the car is hot and the metal expanded. Is this hot? That but that's not how these mechanisms work, because this is not hot. Uh, oh shit. Oh, it literally goes there by itself. It's oh, like, no, it's like no. dead. Get back here! <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> on that, I like how it just went like in its spot on that. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, that's my place. <laughs> Did someone try Googling this or YouTubing it? That's a good idea. See, now that would have been smart 10 minutes ago after this. I thought you guys just knew already. Just to explain as like an interruption to the video, I just want to say that like we did know that there's a tool that you have to take to like loosen it so that, so that the pulley can come back in and then you can put the, the belt back around it. But the problem was that we didn't have any tools. So we we're just seeing because it flew off while driving, obviously there's probably a lot of force that made it fling off, whatever. But... We thought maybe if it came off while driving, we could probably put it back on with that. But we were obviously wrong. And uh, I just didn't want you guys to think we were just retards. I had no idea what we were doing. I knew what, how to take it off. We just literally had no tools in that moment. So we went back home and I still don't have the right tools to do the job. So I would have to wait for my dad's friend who's a mechanic or a cross street neighbor who's a mechanic to come over and let us use their tools so that we can get it all done and the belt put back on so we can keep going at making videos. But back to the video guys. Like how this was I, supposed to I go. I already on. I didn't think that we had I already knew how it goes. I, I just figured, you know, know it goes we don't have we don't have anything now. to force this bitch on. <laughs> so that's all I was thinking about. Yeah, it definitely goes around town. Do you want me to take the belt back out? Yeah f it. Or just leave it here for now. Eh, well, we'll leave, we'll leave it here and see what the f*** he does. Huh. radiator piece of <laughs> Uh, shit. Alright guys, and we're back again, and look at what we're in. We're in the TC, guys. The TC is back, and 100% working order. So, that was fun. So, basically what happened was, 
the one day I was backing out my driveway and all you heard was <laughs> and I thought I broke something and then my mechanic came over Chris and he freaking did it and then it snapped all the way and it just ended up being the bolt in my transmission mount being effed up but something that I haven't shown you guys yet is that we're lowered quite a lot I'll sh oh, there will be a video coming soon, but might as well show you now that. I mean, it's not the best. There's a gap. I understand. We'll fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't all have money for nice things. But like I said, we'll open this up, show you what happened. And basically, he fixed all my springs because I'm bad. But here we go. That's a new car right there. And Ooh, I feel the thunder. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I am wearing a different shirt and stuff because it is the next day or filming the next video. Uh, try to get more content out for you guys but I just want to say thank you for watching and that I know that today's video was very confusing but uh, it it was like really what happened was I thought we thought I was over boosting or I thought I guess I didn't really explain too well what was happening but it was really just fuel cutting which is basically what they said and it probably just had a bad fuel and that's ended up being what it was because when I filled it up with get 93 from BP, it was fine. Nothing happened. And as you see, saw in the video, but that's good. R33 is fine. So pulls and actual track day is coming soon. But that's all for today, guys. And TC is back. And that will be what the next videos are on since it's back. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. See you for more R33 content and TC content.